Welcome to Fred Achando Analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Raila Moludinga finally has the final laugh in Kisi. Everyone was watching as things continued to transpire. Because when Raila planned for the Azimio anti-Ruto rally in Kisi, it was met with a lot of hurdles. There were several hiccups in it. The former governor, James Ongwai, who has been a very strong supporter of Raila Muludinga, led other leaders like Janet Ongera to send a warning to Raila not to bring those rallies in Kisi because he said that they were going to interfere with development projects in that area and they were claiming that it was a ploy to misuse the Kisi youths. And at some point, I thought this is the biggest blow that Raila is going to receive in his bid to force Ruto into a corner. And then there was the governor Simba Arati who had been giving mixed signals. We did not know he was blowing rather hot and cold because he had indicated that they support Raila as a politician but they will embrace Ruto for development. Eti nasikia kuna watu walikuwa nasema oh hakuna mkutano itafanyika. Mkutano ya nani itafanyika? Si ninyi ni wakisi hapa. Mkutano umefanyika ama hajafanyika? Tunasema wale wazee wakuwa na heshima kidogo na sisi tutawaheshimu. Lakini kabla sijaongea nikubalie nikubalie tu and aya wacha <laughs> matiangi tutapeana ripoti ya matiangi Mnataka niongee juu ya matiangi Remember you Ruto has been using this explanation this guys that uh, he's using the leaders from the position so that he can give men give them development project something that Raila Molo Dinga has always castigated saying that every Kenyan has a right to get development because they are taxpayers. So everyone was waiting with bated breath because, because ever since Raila jetted in from South Africa with his first rally in Kamkunji, it has been very successful. But finally Raila stormed Kisi. He started with, 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 with uh, Nyamira County because he was in Keroka then Kiumbu, then Gusi Stadium. And if you ask me, if there is one man whose strategy has failed completely, it's William Samoy Ruto. Because I believe that people were paid. Because the night that was leading to today's rally, there was some border border youth that had been given money to try and cause chaos to warn that they were not ready for this rally. But I also saw another Jeshi Lababa warning Ongwai and Ongeri and the side that were threatening that they did not want that rally. All this was a fiasco. It was not just that attendance that makes it even more fascinating. There was a crowd that my teacher used to tell me can only be described as a mammoth crowd. I did not see any school buses around. There were no yellow buses like we witnessed in the prayer rally that was officiated by William Samoy Ruto. That tells you that the crowd that went there went there voluntarily to listen to Raila Muludinga. And the jubilation and the, 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 the jovial crowd that you, you saw there tells you that they were really yearning and waiting to see Raila Muludinga. Remember, this was coming against the backdrop of uh, Raila standing firm with their son, Fredo King Machani, who has been facing a lot of tribulations from the government. Now, one funny thing about this is the crowd towards Simba Arati. At some point, he was forced to explain why he went to State House, and he was forced to a U-turn, explaining that he cannot beg anyone. In fact, Simba Arati sent a warning to James Ongwai 
just asking the Kisi people whether Ungwai had got the audacity to stop a rally that they had arranged. What does that tell us, ladies and gentlemen? If you looked at the, 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 the if you listened to the speeches, they affirmed they supported that they voted for Raila in the August polls. And they are still very ready to support Raila Amolo Odinga. And it is like they were, because when Simba Rati talked about meeting uh, Ruto in State House, they booed him until he had a U turn. Now, the lies can never be sustained because there had been these lies that Raila is trying to use the youths in Kisi to cause chaos. Something that I've never seen before because all the rallies. Had been, have been peaceful from Jakaranda to Kamkunji to Machakos. All the rallies have been very cool and peaceful, yet they were saying that he was trying to use youths to cause chaos. Now, these lies can never be sustained, and William Ruto has been cornered again. The Kisi have pronounced themselves that they still subscribe to Raila Odinga's political ideologies, because from the way you saw things, William Ruto is not recognized in that area. Raila is still their presidential choice. They voted for him and they will continue voting for him. In fact, I never believed that if it would be attended to that capacity. It's I'm shocked and I know everyone is also shocked. It shows that when William Ruto took the leaders like uh, Governor James Ongwai, former Governor James Ongwai, he went there alone. He never went with the people. And this is something that I've been saying before, that William Ruto is playing a perceptional politics. When you take people like Ongwai, the electorates don't go with him. You pay him some money, he benefits, but you leave the people on the other side of the road with Raila Molodinga. And this is exactly the, uh, what is happening when he met the nine ODM leaders, people like Jalango and Alicia and all Fredo Chanda. You go alone. When you go and you meet the leaders in State House and you have you, you pose for some photo sessions, it's music to the ears to the Kenya Kwanza team who wants to hear it. But it does not add any value because you saw what happened. If those people were listening to, to, to people like uh, Ongwai and Janet Ongera, they would have not thrown the, the, the rallies. And you cannot say that anybody transported them. They went there alone. And this is a very big blow. Ruto must go back to its strategy. And I can assure you that this is going to be an, ad an advantage to the Kisi people. Because William Ruto is going there next month. I think it's in two weeks time. to In the homecoming party of uh, Education Minister uh, Machogu. And I know people are going to be paid money to attend uh, the rallies so that it it, it doesn't uh, seem deserted because it's going to humiliate him. Now, you will understand that the people will always shape the kind of politics in an area. You know, at some point, Simba Rati tried calling the president at His Excellency and all that. He was forced to withdraw those statements. And Raila has sent a warning. Raila has pronounced himself so that this will not work. You know, Wavinia and tried it, warning Rail and Kalonzo not to bring, you know, the rallies in Machakos. And one thing they've been mentioning is that Raila allowed William Ruto to visit Nyanza and William Ruto received a very warm reception and he, he, he launched several develop, development projects. And they are saying that they should also be given a time to welcome William Ruto so that he can launch development projects. And they're saying that Raila is playing a double speak. He allows William Ruto in Nyanza, yet he doesn't want Ruto to go to other places. This lie is not selling. From what happened to from what happened in Machakos and what happened in Kisi today, this is not working. They have to change to another strategy. Because it seems youths and the electorates are, are not getting this anymore. Raila Mulodinga maintained even in Kisi that his votes were stolen, he does not recognize the legitimacy of President Ruto, and that William Ruto must vacate. Even as much as uh, Arati before had said that they embrace William Ruto, they recognize him as the president of Kenya, Raila Mouda reiterated in front of Simba Arati, in front of all the Wananchi who thronged that rally, and they were in unison 
they accepted, they concurred with the Raila Mulodinga that they voted for him and they don't recognize the presidency of William Samuel Ruto. So ladies and gentlemen, Raila continues to, you know, meet hurdles on the way, but he with us all the storms. This is the reason why people tell you he is an enigma. William Ruto must understand that pronouncing that you want to take back Raila to Bondo is not as easy as, it, as, as, easy as he thinks. Raila will still remain a Trojan horse. He will still remain the man, a thorn in his flesh. And I'm telling you that this time things are thicker. Raila Muludinga has pushed William Ruto to the wall because Raila has the people. This is one thing that you must accept. And this is the message that Raila is sending to William Ruto, to all the Kenya Kwanza supporters and all the leaders, and to the USA and Britain and the West that catapulted William Ruto to his win and his victory. He is telling them that I've got the people. And William Ruto will continue suffering from legitimacy issues. That is why he's trying to buy leaders. He's trying to make them in state house. He's trying to dish out, you know, projects. But it is not just working. Because the whistleblower and Raila have said that they won by a margin 8 million votes against William Ruto's 5 million votes. And this has sunk into Raila Muludinga's supporters and they believe they won, they are not taking anything to chances. The next destination you will see because if he withered the storm in Machakos, he withered the storm in Kisi, where else do you think can stop Raila Muludinga? This is a movement that is unstoppable. Now the funniest part of it is that the Kenya Kwanzaa team will not get time to settle down to work to deliver their promises to people because they are now planning on how they are going to counter Raila. They will be doing this in their interdenominational prayers. They will be doing this in their rallies because Raila is causing panic. And let me tell you, behind that happy facade, as they stand and castigate Raila and pretend that they are brave, those people are humiliated. They are never courageous the way you think. They are disturbed. They don't know what to do because Raila has rejected a handshake. Raila has rejected an office that they wanted to create for him. Raila has rejected everything. And his clarion call is just one. Open the server. And this is the worst part of it because Raila puts it very simple. We want to know who is saying the truth. Just open the server. Do you think they can open that server? And how do you think Ruto, Gashagwa, and Ungwai team are feeling right now? Because that crowd, ladies and gentlemen, is really humiliating to Ungwai himself. Where they will be seated down to do a post-mortem, I can assure you that they are shaking their heads. They don't understand this man called Raila Muludinga. If William Ruto thought that he could underestimate their Zimio leadership, I'm telling you, it's not going to be very easy. Next week, Raila is coming back to Nairobi in the CBD in front of the anniversary towers. He wants to pray for the IEBC. Then he will be heading to the Jivanji. Who is going to stop Raila Mulodinga? Is it the police? Is it the military? Is it the West? Ladies and gentlemen, it is none of the above. Raila Mulodinga can only stop himself. He's got the people willing and very ready. I don't know what you say, but that is my take.